Hello and welcome to Jamelia.com. I'm Jamelia and I'm so happy to have you here. Now today's video has to be one of my most highly requested and I'm so glad that I'm finally getting to share it with you. Now as I mentioned in episode one of my Afro hair series, I make my own hair products. In today's video, I'll be sharing easy versions of the recipes that I've been using in my hair for the last two years. Now I've got type 4C hair, which I'll talk more about in an upcoming video. The products are perfect as they're all natural, moisturizing, softening, and add shine and definition to our glorious quirls. Yes, I said quirls. More on that in my next video too. Let's get cooking. Now first up is my African Black Soap Shampoo. The ingredients you'll need for this are of course African Black Soap, which is rich in vitamins A and E, great for sensitive skin and antifungal. Water, which is hydrating, cleansing and your hair's best friend. Coconut milk, which maintains shine, is softening and antiseptic. Apple cider vinegar. This balances the scalp's pH, is clarifying and defines curls. Pure set honey. This is a humectant which means it attracts moisture, it reduces frizz and is antifungal. And jasmine oil which has natural healing properties, has a gorgeous fragrance and is softening and olive oil, which promotes growth, is rich in fatty acids and is thickening, and my hair loves it. Now, get yourself a kilner jar or something similar to put your African black soap in. Place the African black soap inside with some boiled but not boiling water. Pour the water over so that it covers the block of African black soap. We're gonna leave this for about three days and we'll shake it gently like this two or three times a day until it dissolves. This amber bottle is perfect, especially as it has a spray top. Now, once the African black soap has dissolved, pour 250 ml of the mixture into the amber bottle. Add to that 50 mils of coconut milk. Also 50 mils of apple cider vinegar. and one tablespoon of honey. It was at this moment I realized it wasn't going to work. Lastly, add 100 mils of olive oil. And that's literally it. Shake it, baby. Now I must warn you not to expect this to be the same consistency as a traditional shampoo, but I can assure you this works and is great. Now for my whipped shea butter. The ingredients are olive oil, which I showed you earlier, unrefined shea butter, which is conditioning, moisturizing, and a great heat protectant, Jasmine oil, which we also used earlier, and a jar. Yep, that's it. Now 
Now first, I use three tablespoons of shea butter. Please note that this is just a single portion for myself. You could double or triple the recipe if you'd like to make more. Now to the shea butter, add two tablespoons of olive oil. and one tablespoon of jasmine oil. Now in this recipe, I added some jasmine fragrance oil, but I actually now use jasmine essential oil as I prefer the product to be completely natural. Please remember, I'm going to link all of these ingredients in the description box below. And if you're a subscriber to my site, then you've received these already. Now bring a pot of water to the boil and place the bowl of shea butter, olive oil and jasmine oil on top until it melts which takes a couple of minutes. Once it has melted, mix it together. I then put the mixture in the fridge for about 15 minutes until it begins to solidify and has this milky appearance. I put the mixture into a stand mixer with a whisk attachment. Now I must also point out that it is absolutely fine to make all of these products using your kitchen appliances because it's all natural and you could eat it if you wanted to. I don't think you'll really want to, but anyway. The whipping process aerates the mixture which gives it a light and fluffy texture. I like to stop when it gets to the consistency of a light whipped cream. And then I just put the mixture into one of my jars. You could use an old container if you like. So yeah, this is such a simple recipe, but you wanna know what's even more simple? My nightly water spritz. For this, I'm using aloe vera gel, which is detangling, moisturizing, and defining. Olive oil, which is one of my hair's best friends. And water, which is another member of my crew. <laughs> and some of the whipped shea butter that we made already. Oh, and the spray container that I mentioned in my essential tools video. So I'm going to estimate that I use about a tablespoon of the whipped shea butter. Clearly I didn't learn from Honeygate and again trying to put the shea butter into the bottle without a funnel. Let's ignore that. I use about half a tablespoon of aloe vera gel. And then I add olive oil, which I'd also say is about half a tablespoon. And then I fill up the bottle with water. Now I know these aren't the most glamorous looking products, but believe me, they work and I use them even to this day. So there you have my go-to products that I just can't live without. In my upcoming videos, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use them. Now I do hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you do make them yourself, please let me know by tagging me at jamelia.com on Instagram, Twitter or Facebook. And when you do, I'll make sure I feature you on my page too. 
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Oh, and make sure you subscribe to my website too, which is www.jamelia.com, and you'll receive my newsletter full of exclusive news, events, and bonus content. Really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Lots of love, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next Friday. <laughs>